I still love shooting with the original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. It produces a special kind of look which I've not been able to replicate in any of the other cameras that I've used. However, the way I shoot with this camera has changed a little bit over the years. So today I'm going to talk you through my setup and I'm also going to talk a little bit about my process using this camera in 2024. So I originally started using the BMPCC with the Lumix 14 to 42 mm pancake lens. This is an amazing little lens with incredible image stabilization, but unfortunately it actually stopped working on me recently, so I had to pick up the original version of this lens, which is quite a bit bigger, but the image quality is still really good, and the stabilization is also just as good as the pancake lens. Another lens that I've also been using is the Canon 35mm f2 AIS lens. I originally picked this up for my Canon 5D Classic, but I realised it was an amazing option to use for the BMPCC because it has great stabilisation and it also has a really fast aperture. I'm using my Viltrox EF to Micro Four Thirds speed booster to mount it on the camera. This has a 0.71 times magnification, so it reduces the crop factor of the BMPCC down from around 2.9 to just over 2 which makes it a lot more manageable to use a lens like this. It also allows for two more stops of light, which brings the f2 aperture down to 1.4. I'm really not sure how scientific that really is, but either way, it's an amazing lens with incredible image stabilization. And also you can really tell that the image quality is a bit of a step up from the Lumix lenses. The fast aperture is also a nice bonus, but the trade-off is definitely size. The lens itself is fairly compact on its own, but with the adapter attached, it sticks out quite a bit and makes the whole setup a lot bigger. It just means I need to be a bit more intentional with the way I use this camera and I can't really use it as a pocket camera when I'm using these sorts of lenses. As for filters, I'm currently using Freewell's Variable ND and Circular Polarizing filter which they sent me a little while ago. This is a really easy filter to get on and off since it has a magnetic filter thread that just snaps straight onto my step up ring. You then just need to tighten the thread slightly to fully lock it in place and there's also a magnetic filter cap that keeps the filter free of scratches whilst you're on the move. I am definitely no expert on filters, but I'm really enjoying using this one and I'm getting some great results. Having the neutral density filter combined with a circular polarizer is also a massive bonus here. My only slight gripe with the filter is that at minimum it removes three stops of light, which just means in slightly darker situations I might have to remove it to get the extra light. By the way, if you're interested in checking out any of the products that I mentioned in this video, the links are all in the description box below. <laughs> Now battery life is a notorious weakness on almost all of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, but especially the original. And it's really no surprise considering that this tiny little camera is capable of recording 12-bit RAW internally. When I first started using the BMPCC, the three batteries that I also picked up with the camera did a pretty good job at getting me through the day if I was switching the camera on and off in between shooting. But over time, the lifespan of these batteries has dwindled pretty substantially, and I've now got one battery that doesn't even charge, and two other batteries that barely get me through around 10 minutes of shooting. So instead of investing in more of the same, I have now opted to go for an external battery solution. I'm using a Sony MPF battery with a base plate mounted on top of the camera. This just means that I don't have to constantly worry about battery life and two of these batteries will comfortably get me through a couple of days of shooting when I'm out and about with the camera. In terms of other extras, I'm not opting to use a full-on rig with this camera. I do still want to use it in a fairly compact way, but I'm really enjoying using this small tripod from Joby. Quite a lot of the time I'll either hold this at the bottom to give a little bit more support or I'll bend one of the legs so that it rests on my chest to steady things out even more. This is such a versatile little tripod and I thoroughly recommend it if anyone's considering getting one. When it comes to my workflow, I'm still shooting in ProRes. Unfortunately, I just don't have the capacity to shoot in RAW and ProRes gives me everything I need. Once the files are into DaVinci, I'll be opting for more of a film-like image. So I'll apply either my Keychrome 16 power grade or I'll opt to use Dehancer if I'm trying to emulate a specific film stock. If you're interested in either of these, then the links are in the description box below. And that's about it. If you've got a different setup for your BMPCC, I'd love to know what that looks like, and I'll see you in the next one.